What should we do if we have EO3 and EO7 alone? First, remove all dust filters with the power off, clean the dust filter with compressed air. Turn on the power. If the fan starts working, clean the condenser with compressed air. Turn off the power, open the front door, find the fluoride lazo. Unscrew the fluoride lazo on both sides. Use a tool to poke the thimble inside the fluoride lazo's fuel pressure. If the fluoride pressure is too small, there may be fluorine leakage in the equipment. After finding the leak point, please contact our professional after sales staff or 24 hour service hot night. What should I do when the chiller has an EO4 alarm? First, open the chiller baffle, then remove the electrical control box baffle. Use a multimeter to measure the circuit board and the upper and the lower end spaces in sequence. Whether there is a defect in the voltage between two of the three life wires, the normal voltage is between plus and minus 10% of 380 volts. If there is an abnormal voltage in it, need to check whether your main power circuit voltage is normal. If the buff voltage are detected as normal, any two life wires of the power cord can be interchanged. If the buff adjustment still cannot solve your problem, please contact our professional after sales staff or 24 hour service hot night. What to do if your device has an EO5 alarm? First, remove the side bezel. Remove the filter with a tool, then clean the filter with compressed air. Washing with water will be cleaner. Install the filter, find the pump. Feel the pump vibrates and the wind blows out. If none of the above, need to open the top cover of the pump. Check whether the pump capacitor is deformed or bulged. If the buff phenomenon need to replace the capacitor, if none of the buff, check the pump voltage with a multimeter. Normal value is 220 volts plus or minus 10%. After testing, please inform the after sales personnel of the testing results. What to do when your chiller has an EO9 alarm? Must remember to turn off the power, open the shutter, find a room temperature probe, check if the probe is loose or in poor contact, then check the probe wire if there any breakage or damage. The same method is used for high power chillers. Open the shutter. Find the room temperature probe, check if the probe is loose or in poor contact. Then check whether the probe wire is broken or damaged. Install the baffle. If the buff method cannot be resolved, you can contact our professional after-sales staff. What to do when your chiller has an E12 alarm? Method 1. First, open the side baffle. Adjust normal temperature flu valve counterclockwise to the maximum. After adjustment is completed, it can be turned on. Observe whether it can be used normally. Method 2. If still not working normally, turn on the power to observe the flu rate of the normal temperature water outlet. If the flu is too small or no flu, the control valve needs to be replaced. Method 3. Turn on the power and observe the flu rate of the normal temperature return water port. If the flu is too small or low flu, you need to clean the outlet and the return pipes. Unplug the outlet and the return pipes. Clean water pipes with an air gun. This fix it.